is there. We cross over to her right now. Uh, very good evening to you, Ntakwana. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, with uh, Mama Winnie's body finally making its way uh, to her home earlier on today, I, I guess the reality is now setting in for most South Africans. Most South African people are now accepting uh, that uh, she indeed is gone. Well, quite a somber mood here in Orlando this evening, Simpiwe following the arrival of her body in Orlando, finally to spend the night at home before she'll be laid to rest tomorrow. And many, many mourners really, as you say, have been saying that it has finally sunk in. Um, we've been celebrating throughout the past two weeks, but I think today Sowetans have finally got to feel that Mama is indeed gone. Can you take us through uh, the dignitaries who are there? I do understand that uh, Botswana president is already there. Who else is there? Well, from what we understood, it is uh, the Reverend Jesse, Jesse Jackson. We saw him earlier on uh, with the family this evening with a whole entourage from, I suppose, his movement in the United States. He spoke to journalists even earlier today. But also at the funeral home, the leader of the economic freedom fighters, Julius Malema, was there, as well as Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille, the member of the DA. But of course, the ANC leadership who addressed the media also this afternoon, reiterating plans for tomorrow, Shuttles expected to start as early as 4 a.m. from Nazrek. Remember that all, all roads leading into Orlando Stadium will be closed tomorrow. Therefore, all mourners expecting to attend this funeral are expected to take those parking rides from Nazrek coming through to Orlando Stadium. But of course, many, many other people here. And we understand also that the president of Botswana, Mokwezi Masisi, who was coming to South Africa for the first time as the president of that country after being inaugurated on the 1st of April. He met earlier this morning with President Cyril Rabaposa. Both of them, we understand, will be at the funeral tomorrow. Simpiwe. I suppose uh, struggle revolutionary songs will be sung throughout the night at the night vigil. Uh, so can you take us through, if you can, the outlook of the entire program? Well, from what we understand, this is another final farewell by the ruling party, the African National Congress. And from what they said, again, it is to bring Sowetans in. And we had hoped that it would have started by now because the program said 8 o'clock, but people have started trickling in. And even the program earlier on at the family home was delayed. So around 5 o'clock was the time that we saw the body coming out of the funeral home and going to the home. In Soweto. So we expect also that events here may start quite late. Um, as I say, we're expecting it to start around 8, but from what we hear, it might even start at 12 p.m. And yes, uh, or rather 12 a.m. Simpiwe. And yes, indeed, we expect it to go on the whole night. This is something that people don't do as much anymore. But we understand that Sowetans have decided that because they're not too far away, from the Orlando Stadium where the funeral is happening. Perhaps we might even see some people coming from this night vigil here at the community hall straight to the stadium where the rest of us are expected to start uh, arriving around uh, 4 a.m. But of course, as I say, this is just a final farewell. I suppose Sowetans will be given an opportunity here to say their minds. Uh, we have not seen them say much apart from talking to the media. They have not been given much of an opportunity or a platform really to say how they feel, but we expect that here tonight is where they will be able to do that. Simpiwe. Ntakona, you've been there for the better part of today, so I'm going to let you go, but then thank you so much for our update. That was our reporter, and Takwan Ngatan is speaking to us uh, outside the Orlando Community Hall where the night Virgil in honor of Mama Winnie Matagazela Mandela will be held uh, any minute from now.